Good morning, class. Let's have our second operation of set. So, the first one was union. Now, the second one is intersection. So, intersection, this is the notation for intersection. And it is defined x such that x is an element of A and x is an element of B. It means that is the set of all elements x in the universal set such that x is in set A and x is in set B. Okay, so that is intersection. Now let's have a example. So we have example number one. If we have the, the universal set, we have the elements 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you have set A. Let's have 4, 5, 6, and set B, 5, 6. What is A intersection B? So, the answer here is 5 and 6. So, it's 5 and 6 because it should be, X should be in A and X should be in B. So, it's just the common we say common sa A and B. So we have 5 and 6. 5 and 6 are common. It is found, it is the elements that is found in both set A and B. So our answer here is 5 and 6. Okay. Now in Venn diagram, let's have Venn diagram to illustrate it better. So if this is your universal set and you have this set A and this set B. So, the intersection, so you only get the intersection or the, com the common of both set A and B. Let's have this example. Let's create a Venn diagram. So, you have this universal set and you have set A and set B. So, in set A, you have 4 and 5, 6. Intersection, you have B. Okay, and then you have other elements. You have 7 and 8. So, outside set A and B. So, what we're going to do is to only shade the intersection. So, the answer here is 5 and 6. So, this is the Venn diagram. Now, let us elaborate it more using this symbol. Same what we did in our union. So, this symbol. That symbol is, uh, let's have a little recap if you still remember. In union, this is the symbol. This is read as or and it's disjunction. Now, the symbol for intersection in its definition is this one. This is read as and. And this is conjunction. What does conjunction mean? If P is true, so let P and Q are proposition. If P is true and Q is true, then P and Q is true. Otherwise, P and Q is false. So that is conjunction. So let's have the table. You have P, Q as a proposition. So you have true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And you have P and Q. So it is stated that P and Q is true. So, you have here true, true, so this is true. Otherwise, if it's not P and Q are true, it is false. So, all of these are false. Okay. So, this is the 
conjunction. Now, let's have our example. So, in this case, um, let's have 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, our proposition, our P. So, let me just first rewrite the definition. Element of A and X is an element of B. So, we have this is our first proposition, P. This is our key, our second proposition, combined by a conjunction, and that is read as AND. So, our P here is X is an element of A, and our Q is X is an element of B. And then, the combination, you have X is an element of A, and X is an element of B. So, you have um, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Let's check. So, 4. 4 is an element of A. So, it's true here, but it's not an element of B. So, dapat both man ang true. So, this is false. Unlike sa union, nalay usang na true, true na. But in this conjunction, or and, or this symbol, it will only be true if all proposition is true. So, let's proceed to 5. Okay, 5 and 6 are both present in A and B. So, this is true, 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 true. Since both proposition is true, we have the result true. 7 and 8 are not found in A and B. So, it is false, 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 false. So, this is false and false. So, only 5 and 6 is included in our answer. So, you have this 5 and 6 is the intersection of the given set A and B. So, this is intersection. Okay. Let's have an example. So, example number 2. So, if you have the universal set 1, 2, 3... A, B, C, D. Okay. And you have set A, 1, B, C. B, you have 2, 3, C. C, you have, um, let's have 1, 2, 3, B, D. Let's have another one. D, A, C. So, let's try to solve some... You have some intersection. So you have A intersection B. Let's also have A intersection C, B intersection C, and C intersection D. Start to solve this one together. So A intersection B, so you have A and B. So what is the common? So the common here is C. So we have C is the common of set A and set B. Now, this is an example of a unit set or a single tone. It, it only means that it is a set with one element. So, with one element only. So, C is the element of the given set and it is only one. So, it is called unit set. How about A intersection C? So, you have A and then you have C here. So, their common is you have 1B. So, you have 1B. Okay, that is the answer for our number 2. How about number 3? It's B intersection C. So, you have B intersection C. What is their common? Okay, that's correct. It's 2, 3. And lastly, what is C intersection D? So you have here C and D. What is the common or the intersection of set C and set D? Okay, well, C a common. If in case there is no common, meaning it is a set without, without, uh, without elements or it is a set with no elements. So you can have the answer of a null set. Or, you can have an answer of an empty set. So, this is a null set, this one, and this is an empty set. So, if your answer is null, this it's correct. 
And if your answer is empty, it's still correct because they have same meaning. So it's, it has no elements, no elements inside. So this is the null set and that is the empty set. Now, some of the students used to answer like this. Now, this is wrong. If your answer is like this and, you, and the answer has no element, this is wrong. So, this is a set with an element of a null set. So, meaning, null set is just same with an empty set. But this is not the same with a set with an element of a null set. So, Pwede ni siya, pwede ni siya, but in this case, it's a different story. Okay, so that is our example number two. Okay, let's have another example. Example number three. So, let's have example number three. Um, if the universal set... So, another column. If the universal set is x such that x is a real number real number and then your a is x such that x is a counting number counting number and then your b is x such that x is a whole number do you still remember your number system uh, and your C is with zero element. D is null. So there is a construction outside. So we have E is x such that x is um, an element, an element of a positive integer. Positive integer. We have that. Let's try to solve A intersection B. A intersection B. So we have counting numbers. What are the counting numbers? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So you will not start with 0, of course, if you are counting. Like if you, if you count how many apples you have, you will not start with 0. So you, just, you can see, no. So you have to start with 1, 2, 3. A whole number starts with 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. The ellipsis. And you have an element of positive integer. Or positive, add. Positive add integer. So, let's have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. So, we have already understand all the elements. So, we have A intersection B. So, A intersection B, what are the common? The common is, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so on. So, pwede ra 4 koto. Kira sa di continue. So, the ellipsis stands for infinity. So, this is intersection of A and B. Now, if you want, this is in, in rooster method. If you will convert this to rule method, how will you describe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Okay. It is called counting. Counting number. And it is also called natural number. And also positive. Positive integer. So you can select actually so it's up to you so your answer is still correct so meaning let's have x such that x is an element an element um, of a natural number we just choose natural number for this item okay so this is a intersection b so what if you have B intersection C. So, what is the intersection of B and C? Zero. So, the answer is still C, set C, which is zero. It only means that set C is a subset of set B. 
because all elements in set C are in set B. You have only one element, which is 0, and the 0 is in set B, so therefore set C is a subset of B. We will discuss about more on subsets. Okay, um, let's have another one. How about uh, C intersection D? So you have C as zero element and D a null set. So what are the common elements? Do they have common elements? No, they don't have common elements. Thus, our answer is null or empty. So it's up to you. So depends upon also the instruction. If the instruction have stated that if there is no elements, um, you just write null or empty. So you just have to read the instruction if there are specific. If there's no specifics, you um, both null and empty is correct. Okay. Now let's let's um let, let's put this in a Venn diagram to understand it better. So if you have this universal and you have set C, you have this um, set D, and then you have zero. Now you will shade what is in between. As you can see, there is no elements inside. So it's null. Um, let's have another one. I know you are having fun. So you have A intersection E. So A intersection E. So this counting number and this positive add. So what is the common? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 3, 5, 7. So the same. Our answer for A intersection E is set E. Still set E. Okay, so you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Or, in builder notation, you just copy set E. Elements of positive, positive odd integer. Okay. Uh, it only means that all elements of set E is in set A. The set E is a subset of set A. Okay. Now, last, let's have this one. What is the intersection of the universal set and set C? So, we can also use the universal set. Our universal set are all real numbers. And our set C is only zero. So, what is the intersection or common? Obviously, the answer is zero or the set c itself because you have the real number and set c well they the real number have the number zero and the c here is zero so their common is zero so that is our example number three so you can review this one if you still have confusion feel free to ask questions so we can clarify that as as up okay so this is our um for a problem number three, example number three, you have example number two, and this is the explanation in connection to the this symbol. So I want you to really have the in-depth understanding of the definition itself. I have already introduced that the definition of each terms and each concept in mathematics is very important. So this is how we explain the definition in connection to this symbol intersection and we also have this the venn diagram and of course the definition of intersection okay so that's all and that's all for intersection let's have our next operation of set